he is equipped with. Still 2k in the bank on that investment. And Device has found first blood. He's a pillar of defense here on A. A second onto Makaleli, despite the bullets connecting onto him first. Crystal. He's got the element of surprise if he chooses to wander through that smoke. You can hear Glaive jumping on the other side. Yeah, this is uh, a 50-50 moment. Looks like he's got the... What? Oh, my, oh my God! What a play that was. How calm was he then? No one is making that play. Chris if get a third here. He'll lose the advantage for now, but Zen is like... Oh, it's a jump! What? Device, though. One of those prominent orpers on Vertigo right now. Very, very good at this map. Perfect angle so far, nails the shot. Zen, spacing's pretty poor here, to be fair. There's, there's no way Maiden could even assist him with that full commitment towards B. I'm just so sad it. about Crystal's heroics going relatively uh, unsuccessful for his team. I mean, it felt like he did so much there. But the damage was already inflicted. Device's double kills just haunting them the rest of this round. Maiden is not going to be allowed to get this bomb down. Device just times it. Hello. Scrolls out. Good evening and goodbye entirely contributing to the victory the Stralis now post. Four to zero, Zen's lost a lot of his health, but in the exchange, he's got Glaive watching from the sidelines for the rest of this round. Pistols again, and a great shot. Okay. Now, Sticko's positioning is so impressive when he hits shots like that, even takes the time to steady his aim for more damage inflicted onto Zipex, finished by Makaleli. Four members still standing. Crystal was checking quad and his pants have been pulled oh. down. Dupree finds another one, jumps out of the initial shots. Maiden's only got the deagle, but he Whoa. does finish it. That felt very nerve-wracking. Yeah, after the device yeah. deagle from Sticko. Okay, so that's, so that's what's happened. I guess the second was the surprise, all the same. It's serviceable, right? They can, they can make it, it work, works, especially yeah. with Device giving away a freebie right there. And Makaleli saying he wasn't feeling too good on the AWP will eventually come on up and going on down. But Magus is going to make this a three-on-three -three situation. Where's that bomb? Will be picked up now by Zen. And just he continues his spree. We talked about individuals stepping up for Astralis and how that could very well be just the simple win condition in order to ensure we don't see another uh, Astralis stomp they actually got beat pretty damn hard by nip in their first day of play now our third on the esl pro league our second chance to see astralis and already looking like some serious positive signs here to start off the first map see Me megas has kept on pushing on through now he has to double on back here to cover off towards a but maiden knows something could be up here he's seeking out towards Ali. And that's a fourth right there. So Zen, left in a one-on-two situation, knows where at least one member is. I just didn't really move. He just sets himself up, digs his heels in. Zen to plant. Should be finally do so. I just still for that ace. Dupree coming from the bridge. Zen, one and five right now. 100 HP, one flashbang available. Makes his way towards the sniper deck. The problem is here, two smokes on the CT side. Makes his chance of winning this very low indeed. They can smoke up a choke point and the bomb itself, which is what they've done. But good play from Zen. He's got himself an access point here. One versus one, Dupree. He's getting to the point now where he might just have to defuse. He'll go for it while the smoke is up, I'd imagine. And this is the moment here. Is he going to go fully committed to it? I don't know why he didn't, to be fair. It's so far gone. And does he still win the round? I don't think he's it's going to be. I don't think he does either. With the smoke down, I think that was his only option, to be fair. I assume he thought that uh, we had Zen pushing in. A flash and a peek off of the boost. Magisk is going to be tested. And oh, he doesn't even get to adjust in time. I didn't see a single flash from his muzzle. Zen holding middle. His teammates. Starting to make their way towards B. Glade completely flashed behind the bomb site here, but he's got Dupree behind him in a decent smoke as well. It's bought him a lot of time. The HE to be delivered around the corner. I should do some time. The HE to be delivered around the corner. I should do some significant damage towards Michael Ailey, which it does. Smoke's starting to dissipate now, and here comes the final commitment from Godsend with 20 seconds remaining. My goodness, they're running this clock right down. Glaive only going to be allowed to have one. Dupree waiting, hoping he can find a 1v1. Instead, it's Michael Patient prevails on the AWP. Sticko needs to go down now. He does, and that's the round one. All Zen can do is just keep hold of his AK-47, and Zipex saves the day. Two smokes, a few flashes, device. This looks so comfortable at that A ramp. It means they can really focus towards middle. The boost towards the boxes, though. Maiden is great at hitting the headshots, but they're not being too fantastic at closing out these rounds. Any gaps in there is a massive problem. So is the double kill. They're both in the window of their bums exposed. We're going to have Michael and Maiden taken down and Glade. Looks like he's hungry for a few more here. The aggro gets taken from Dupree. A very convincing finish there after losing the first pick. Astralis is 
not ranked right now as the number one team in the world, but as far as everybody's concerned, the scariest team in the world, right? So these guys right here probably have uh, maybe a little bit of fear in their hearts here as they do try and run up the A ramp and take a faster round. They will be pushed on back, split on up and taken one by one as they find themselves in a three, to make that a two on five situation as they will find yet another kill, continues to push forward, Ooh. tries to like jumping and well, they're just gonna maul them there to close out with a 12-3. Would you call it stampede of sorts? The galloping T's making their way through. And now Sticker, P2000 Ooh. in hand. And it'll take a Glock to the face, unfortunately. And we're going to have the smoke execution come through. They still have a Molotov for post one and another smoke as well. This is kind of insane. So the plan will come through. And he's just getting it right on the edge as well. That's really idyllic, to be honest with you. It's going to be difficult to defuse that one. They have got a kit, but no smoke on the CT side now. As we'll see, the Molotov lands all the boost boxes. Oh. It's a nightmare for Michael Ailey. They have oh. got a chance here. They're finding multiple frags. What's happened? All of them. Michael Ailey finds a double Zipex. He's rolling his eyes. And now... A chance for Dupree, but it's so small. He would have to tap away no at Maiden's head, and now Godsend take it, despite all the best efforts. Very quiet for now. Three terrorist players waiting outside the A bomb site. Sticker would do very well. The scout to find multiple kills. Good smoke at the 30 second mark. Should bite him some time, but here comes the execution of Astralis. Object to get the bomb down as quickly as possible, but a lot of damage inflicted. Crystal will go down, and Michael Ellie's on the scene of the crime. Considering a flank, but Glaive does manage to deal with one on the boost. Magis does get that bomb down. This is safe territory for me right now, considering everything. But they have put a decent amount of cash going forward, I suppose. Sticker is still in position, but it looks like they're in a lot of trouble. We'll see what can be done. Then we'll have to step up. Glaive right? is taking them down one by one. Sticko, he'll be stuck in the corner at this point, just trying to stay alive. It doesn't look like that'll be successful. If you can take one player down with him, that would be something. The Eagle headshot doesn't connect. It's a very clean round from Astralis. Gets him 13 on the board. Good flash. Forces McAlee to tuck in and upon re-peaking. He has a chance at the spray, but this is looking all too similar. Information needs to be gathered on the godsend side of things. Waiting for these mistakes to come through. There's the first one. Dupree in towards that quad position. Molotov down. They should make their way towards B at this stage, considering he's got such a prominent position. Will this be the end for Godsend? They do take that early mid with the MP9s, but no one's home. The old MP9 mid strategy. We've all tried it. Sometimes it's successful, sometimes it's not. This time didn't land. Did Zipex just do a walking jump under um, flash? The difficulty level on that is absurd. Nightmare mode. Well, I would not want to do that one, that's for sure. Oh, here we go, though. A couple of kills coming in. And they've done significant damage towards device and debris. It's never clean cut. You don't see many blowouts in this game. But there's a potential frag that's opened up the B site. And the other players are towards A right now. You can see it's Sticker rotating in. He has made it through, but that kill might decide their fate. As smoked, Molotov available, and Dupree shot to the AWP. It is going to be 16 to 5. Michael Ailey, although he does have a chance of winning this, I'd say his uh, options are very limited. There we have it, 16 to 5, ladies and gentlemen. Astralis looking very comfortable, stretching her legs out there on Vertigo on the map pick of Godsend. We saw Magisk, you know, prefer Vertigo as an example. He planted in a rather unpredictable position. I think that's something Astralis would have accounted for already smoke's flying in maiden needs to find a head ideally but what's that turning tail and now aggressing keeping them guessing they come the nades that's the line that we were talking about where's the plan spot? Look, this is what yeah. i'm seeing but see by by knowing that they've been given up the site a retake is always up a possibility so glad well ahead of that that's so sick the fact they've avoided those nades and it's going to be a five on four sticko already came to the start of the round michael Ellie removed device not slowing down either looking for multiple kills towards the ruined position flashbangs being deployed and dupree he said it chad they look a bit more active today they're up for these frags in these online games as dupree continues to find headshot off their headshot with a glock a low hp player on his right should be able to find him no problem but still sticko alive there how shouldn't i understand that oh they're being very safe about all these we used to do this in source i understand why you don't do it in csgo like that, that was the only way to get up there quietly in source we had to do that um but Finally seeing it, oh, Cisco. He he went, did he not see? He went unchecked. It. He was flushed. Wait, wait. Who, who did not see what? Did Crystal Chris, was Crystal blind. Know, yeah, Crystal doesn't know, but he'll hear it. And now Glaive's coming in 
with oh. his nade in oh, his God, this hand, this, this could be okay. a brutal round win. Just like this, Crystal's going to win the round first on the board for oh, Godzilla. No. He does it right, oh, but instead, no. he bides his time just a little too long. He knows another has passed. The nade avoided by device. And so now he's actually kind of under the most unique and weird scrutiny. The CT is now defending Banana. It's a roll reversal. Maiden comes from behind. Crystal's being monitored out. Will be sprayed down. The transfer does not connect. Now Maiden is the one to take control of the round. And this one has managed to stabilize. Godsend will secure it. He only gets one kill, but like you said, he pretty much wins the round single-handedly with that play. Lovely set up here. Maiden's not going to miss this. Round. Or maybe he will. Zipex. Great stuff to actually get them back into the round here, potentially. But then, nice position. Major throw. And a great shot from him. This is a high-level game so far. Yeah, these trades are coming in so quick. Just taps. I like oh, this. Okay. Michael Ailey, be careful, my friend. Get the info. That's hey, something. Does he jump back up and challenge? <laughs> Would have liked it. But no chance with the HE. Gonna do it. Vibrance? Where's the Vibrance at? You got digital Vibrance on a 200%? I do 100%. That's a cheeky one. I really like that. Some players Burns, do, like, they do both at the same time. You double layer it, and it just looks ridiculous. Yeah, it's when you have a stream piece here, like, digital vibrance on as well. Like, it doubles down. It's pretty insane. Evo Crystal, uh, he's in a lot of trouble here, as Magus will find him. Now there's one player waiting towards the B-7. What a player it is, Maiden. Look how active he's being right now. He knows he has to pull a frag back here. Magus is low. Spotted him, jumped towards the half wall now. Trying to pull that frag back. He's got an HE picked up from the ground. Could throw that towards logs. That'd be a guaranteed frag if he got it in there. Does he know? Is he aware? Pushing down now. Device. I was about to say, not necessarily ready for it, but this is Device we're talking about. Michael Ailey could hit a hell of a shot here. Will he get back? He won't. And that could be the round. Slow down towards spawn. One transitioning player in the form of Zen, but the bomb will be planted momentarily, and you might be better off to saving the two rifles here. Time will tell if Zen could do anything about this. The more I sit here and talk about this video game with you guys, the more you, you see the... Uh... The importance of in particular frags. Magis getting that trade and not letting Makaleli reset on the exactly, B right. essentially wins the round. It's it's like the, that five second decision of Matt Magis and his spray control was just enough to win the round. Yeah, Makaleli's got like a, a two second window yeah. to get out of that. He jumps. He knows it's going to be right down to like the, a couple of bullets, and he didn't quite make it. And that that is the round. If he stays alive, he can potentially hold it all bangle, deny them access. But it wasn't meant to be. That's what a trade essentially is all about. If you had a Krieg in that position, perhaps or an AK yourself, I wouldn't mind it too much. Or an all them. Setup would be nice. Two M4s, I don't think it's the one. I'll be honest with you. But there it is. That is the one. Device opening things up, takes down Michael Ailey, who is at the top of middle. I'm not sure if he had the AWP. Well, the fact Zen has picked it up confirms it. But they have pulled a kill back. And another one. It's going to actually be the first advance they've had in some time here. A four versus three, but lots of utility and HP remaining for these three players of Astralis. Well, it just made it in that emo spot. He does have the rotator crystal coming in with his FAMAS, but. Maiden will be checked by device now. Wins the duel. That's huge. And a second onto Zipex. Just the tip of his beret showing. And he still manages to take it off. A third as well. Maiden, we talked about him being the star of the Godsent show. And he single-handedly makes that second round appear. Like, an 8-7 scoreline against you, like, that still would not look very good at all. Reno! Zen! got to hit those. But a four, well, I guess they bring it back, but stick on a lot of pressure here. Yeah, I'm worried about Sticko's survival. They're even just throwing flashes at him. Worried about Sticko's survival. They're even just throwing flashes at him. He is just forced to face the wall. Now there's a Molotov burning his toes and a spray from Magisk as well. They are locked out of this A site, Henry. It looks so good. Set up nicely for a library pick. Play for the challenge towards the apartment to made him smoked out. I think that was his own smoke, so Crystal will open things up here. There is a chance of the CT looking much better now. Glaive run out bullets, and they've actually successfully brought this round back in their favor. Yeah, second worst map in the last six months, uh, but they still had eight wins to 12 played. That's, yeah. for, to be a second worst map with eight wins, that's pretty ridiculous. Well, stick out, you're in trouble, my friend. Down towards the bench, you will go, and this is where uh, the CZ will come out on top. Zen nice. tries to strike from the bedroom, but instead he's sent to bed. We are going to have ourselves in a four on two. Made in the Michael Ailey. We'll be holding towards the A side of the map. His maiden transitions over. A bit of a gamble, I suppose. Michael Ailey can win this. That's a little bit away from Ooh. the Astralis boys, but they have managed to stick the landing. Maiden will be left. Another three versus one. He can win these. He's an opening out, and there it is. Oh. He's sick, isn't he? <laughs> He is a robot. Sad to see another point of his health tick away on that incendiary, but this is Dupree's angle. He can't mess that one up. A seventh now for Astralis on their T side affair. So this is what happens. Were you, when expect, I... were you a spectator of the event? Or you... I, I, was, I was playing within the BYOC uh, to really? try and qualify for the major. 
Uh, our owner of the team put us in the main hall. Uh, for those who have been to Dream that winter, it's a race. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's a nightmare. I put you in the main Dream So we could experience hall. it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, it's one that's a lifetime opportunity. You've got, like, the spectators standing behind you while you play. Everyone's, like, just there making music. They've got lights on. This is the final round of the half, but unfortunately, it wasn't a very exciting one. Crystal might be able to pull this one off. That was the chance, but unfortunately, it won't work out for him. Uh, good thing to report about that first half was him. So hopefully, we can see him step up with the PD-50 and decoy combo, and he takes an A to the face to kick things off. Not a great start. And then a flashbang after that one. Dipex badges. My goodness, they're like robots. Charging down. I think you compared someone to the Terminator earlier. I think Astralis might be full of the T1 whatever. T2000. 2000. 2000. Is yeah. that the one with the arm that was all liquidy? Exactly. Yeah, I like the one. He was cool. That's the best movie as well. Terminator 2. Judgment Day is the best movie. Was, was really Arnie the T1000 then? Can't remember. Uh, my, my, my trivia isn't that good. No, nor I. Someone on the Dutchman. And right? they murdered the franchise. Apparently, the last movie was absolute no, it, it was, garbage. It was okay. Was it really? It was, the, the other ones were offensive. Like, and if everything <laughs> since two, like there was like three or four, they were really bad. This was the first one that was actually like not. Like, it felt like it got to the point where it's like, oh, this is Sarah Connor's cousin's mum's second removed. And now, it does seem like Dupree's confirmed it and removed <clears throat> Crystal from the game. Play. Aggressive, of course, and Maiden will punish him. So you can see them overstepping the mark a little bit. And uh, for now, an opening kill. And. Apex could have got caught out and just walked straight into Maiden's crosshairs. He's done it again. The star of Godsent has given them an advantage, and Crystal can seize it. Takes the last frag, and that should be the round just like that, because Magisk is left to his own devices. He is just miles away. So what's the play? They're going for the B execution, from what I can see, and they're running into a B stack. Oh, this will be a hell of a shot. That's sick, the device. I like that a lot. That was stylish. That looked so... That was swaggy. So good. Satisfying. Oh, they're, they're in trouble here, boys. The oh, grenades, no. the scouts are landing. It's happening. They don't really have much information to fall back on, and they're losing players left and right. It's going to be the eco victory. Here it comes, Michael Ailey. And it all started with a one dig towards the bridge, and it sends him in towards the big bomb site where Astralis have a full stack there. Unbelievable scene. And uh, obviously, it didn't work out for them. The big stack comes through, and we've got series point made, and you're in a lot of trouble to get one kill before going down. That would be great. Hearing the footsteps back towards the site, but unfortunately, Krieg ready and waiting. Yeah, that's a Zipex CT Krieg. He's happy to take him when he gets them, despite not giving any to the Godsent CT side. When Zonic said it's 2018 Astralis, I didn't mean think realize he meant with weapons that they use yeah, as well. Yeah, we're not using any of the weapons <laughs> in 2018. Oh, goodness gracious, what a shot at the end.